Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Gavin Coke. I think that's all my nicknames. It doesn't even matter. What matters is I'm so grateful. I'm so thankful that you're still rocking with me in 2020. A lot of you guys have been showing so much love, whether it's Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and I'm appreciative, man. Like real talk, legit, I'm happy. If this is your first time here, welcome. Come to the front, front of the congregation, introduce yourself, leave your Instagram handles, your portfolio below. I would love to check out your work and let me know what city you're from. If this is your last time being here, the back seat is that way, the back view. You can go back to, no matter of fact, it's actually on this side. You can go there, we'll holler at you later. Anyway, um, I have a whole new segment for 2020 and it is called Apps of the Week. So this week, we try to talk about a new app or every week, we're gonna try to talk about a new app that I deem uh, is important for any entrepreneur. Some are gonna be catered to photographers and videographers. However, most are gonna be applied to any entrepreneur that can definitely use it. So today, we're actually gonna be talking about Miles IQ, which is not paying for this YouTube video, by the way, or wherever you're watching it. It ain't sponsored, which is great because I can tell you how I really feel about the app. But then also what's important is it's tax time. We're all looking for receipts. We're all looking for write-offs. We all trying to figure out, do we really give away a lot of clothes or do we really give $500 worth away or whatever? And so we're all searching, but Miles are super, super important to every entrepreneur, right? So at the end of the year, how do you know what you've done? How do you know if you drove 200 rides for someone? How do you know if you actually did 3,000 miles on your car? You don't, if you unless you have a tracking system and Miles IQ is beautiful for those things. So we're gonna dive into it and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna talk about you know the highs and lows of this app. All right, so we're here in Miles IQ. This is actually the dashboard version available on desktop. Um, it is available on Apple and Android as well. So you can always check it out there. I just want to give you guys a, just a bigger, better picture here. So you can actually go in and change this to, let's do this year so far. All right, so we're doing this month and you can kind of see it has my miles here. It has how much I've logged, how much was my potential. And also it lets me know like, hey, you have 184 rides. It breaks down personal business, things of that nature. And as you can see here, it lists all of my drives which is super important super cool um if you're cheating you're going to get caught by doing this right because it's all out there so the cool thing is you can look let's scroll down here right so i knew these this whole weekend right here i was working these were nothing but business trips and business events so what happens is if you notice if we scroll back up here sorry i'm going fast but if you come up here you see i keep going to a, a certain place that i've labeled as a studio what it's going to do is going to always make sure that since I keep I've named this place a studio, I'm saying, hey, it's always going to be a photo shoot. They make sure they go ahead and just label all of those for me. So I don't have to keep doing it, which is super cool. Right. Um, another cool thing is you can do reports. It'll run reports for, you know, last year because we all need to do our taxes ASAP. And it'll let you know, like, excuse me, that's not last year. Last year. And they say, hey, you've actually made last year thirty three you know, $3,300, this is how much you did. And I can print this out, give it to my accountant, whoever I might need to do for my taxes. My accountant name is TurboTax, who does my taxes, um, my tax preparer. And they will handle it for me. Um, another thing that's super cool is you can come over here to settings. You can scroll down, you can go to auto classifications. And this is bomb because you can mark out your work hours and it will make sure that it always either make this personal or business wise if you do do work hours there a uh, frequent drives it'll auto classify it for you um you can actually add in pur purposes right so i can add in a purpose this is called food right because i'm always going to be eating right or moving or whatever the case may be i'm never going to be doing nothing that's worth moving we need to hide that too um anyway <laughs> so what you can kind of do is say hey let me add some things let me put a thing on here that i go to the gym which might be something cool. So you can remove those out of your auto classifications. So definitely dive in this and check it out. And let's go back through my overview and what I like about it. All right, so let's go over some highs. My favorite part about Miles IQ, besides the price, we'll get into that a little bit, um, is the fact that it auto classifies certain rides for you. So if I keep going to the same gas station every morning or every other morning, 
it's not going to keep asking me, hey, are you going to this gas station or is this where you're going? It's going to say, do you want us to auto classify this because you keep going here? You labeled this as shell gas station. We know that you keep going there. It's always personable. Personal. Do you want us to go ahead and label as that? Yes. Cool. You'll never have to worry about that again. Also, if it's like, let's say you're going to Chick-fil-A every day at lunch or at once a month. It's going to notice that you keep going to this Chick-fil-A and it's going to say, hey, do you want us just to auto classify it? Cool. But what if you go there for a lunch? You just need to remember to go back in there and say, hey, actually, this was for a business meeting that I was doing at Chick-fil-A because who don't like, love Chick-fil-A? And you just do it that way. Um, one of the shortcomings I do notice is if you remember my dashboard, one of the rides said 43 miles right this morning. Well, that one ride that was 43 miles actually made three different stops. And I was out of my car. I was walking around. But it grouped it as one. I don't know why it does that or how long you need to be idle or not moving at a fast pace. But that does require some, that does cause some headache because let's say in a month or in two months when I'm going back through, I'm not going to remember that I was out of my car three times. Luckily today I caught that, shout out to you guys, and I saw like, hey, I was actually out. But I remember all of those were just personal rides, so I'm not going to change it. So that is one of the things you can do in there. You know, one of the shortcomings, you can go in there and add rides, which I would do if I had like a business meeting or something in the middle of that. Um, one benefit I would say that you, if you're going to use this app, you need to do. Please, please, please take out time every two days, once a week, whatever the case may be, and classify your rides. Because at the end of last year, I forgot to classify my rides for three or four months. And so I'm in December working on it and it blew my mind. I couldn't remember. Some shoots I did have, I had to go back, go through my calendars, check invoices and say, okay, I did have a shoot on this day. Some was clear as day I knew, but it's easy if you spend out time, like, hey, once a week and say, hey, I'm gonna do this. It'll make your life so much easier. Um, let's get in price. This is a freemium, meaning it's free and then you gotta pay premium for it. So your first 40 rides every month is free which is dope because you, who knows what you might need this for, right? So your first 40 rides, but more than likely you're gonna drive more than that. This uh, program is only $60 a year, which is great. That is, I don't know, nobody killed me right here. What is that, $5 a month? Five, yeah, something like that. It's great, that's cheap. That's a great investment for you to, you know, have that PDF, have that Excel sheet at the end of the year, you're saying, hey, I have all my apps, I mean my drives in this one app. I have proof, I know how much money I'm getting and I'm done. I can give it to my tax person, I can put it in TurboTax, whatever the case may be, it's complete. So definitely check it out. Um, thank y'all for rocking with me. Leave comments, give me an app I should try this week. I already think I know which app we should try for next week, but we're gonna see, I gotta give it a whole nother week to see, make sure I still like it. Anyway, I'm gonna holler at y'all next time.